Hello everybody. We are going to use our little Microbit Wukong expansion board and the sonar bit to make music. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, the Microbit has a speaker in it. Microbit version 2 has a speaker on it. Version 1 does not. You would have to hook up a speaker. The thing you need to know is the speaker is on pin zero. So when I plug in this ultrasonic, I cannot plug it into pin zero. So remember, again, when we're plugging things in, we've got to pay attention to the lettering. SVG, signal voltage ground. Black is ground, red is voltage, yellow signal. So make sure you plug it into the right order over here also. I plugged into pin one. All right, so let's go play with code. Bum, 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 bum. Let's go here. Look on music. And the reason we need the, the what? do we even need it for this? Yeah, because of the way we're, our, uh, we need the, we need the pins in order to do this. So what do we need to do? What do I need? I actually don't need the Wukong extension. Remember if we go here and get extensions, but I do need that ex sonar bit extension. So again, there is this uh, github.com slash electfreaks slash pxt dash sonar bit, which we need to search for because we need the sonar bit. Because it's a special special sonar bit, it only uses one pin, so it's got some things uh, done inside of it. We need the sonar bit. All right, there we go. Uh, let's create a variable to put that value into. So we'll go ahead and variables. Make a variable. I don't know. Let's see, call it whatever you want. Distance, and I want to. Set Z to be that distance, but not in millimeters. I want it in centimeters, and I want it on pin 1. All right, so Z is now going to be whatever distance. Oh, I think I have to make sure the speaker is turned on, because pin 0 can be lots of things, right? You can plug things into pin 0. Um, but when I want to use it as a speaker, I think I have to tell it to turn the speaker on. All right. So now we just got a bunch of if statements. Yeah. Because if I'm at this distance, play this note. If I'm at this distance, play this note kind of thing. Uh, so we go over here to logic. And if now they're actually going to be a compound if. I'm going to go if I'm in between a distance. So I need that that and. Where's that and? All right. And I need those um, comparisons. Need one over here. I need one over here. And I need my z. So we come up to variables. If z is, that's not what I wanted it to do. There we go. I'll put you back up there. If z is, we're going to say greater than, we're in centimeters. So let's just we'll start wherever you want kind of thing, right? Um, we'll go 5. If z is greater than 5 and z is less than 8, you got to play with the numbers that work for you best. Uh, so um, there we go. So if we're in between 5 and 8, that's our statement. If we're in between 5 and 8, then do something. And that do something is play some music. Play middle C. So we look at all this music. You know, we can have it play a melody. You know, we want to play like notes. Uh, you can change the beat, obviously. Oh, get rid of that. We can change, you know, how long you play it for. I'm just going to stick with one beat. Uh, ringtones actually sound different. Try them if you like them. Whatever. 
volumes, stop all sounds, change tempo. Lots of things you can do here, right? Okay. We want to do, we just want to do this a bunch of times. Um, a whole octave. Uh, so copy and paste. And now we got to switch. So now we're going to go between 8 and 11. I'm just going by threes for just no reason whatsoever. Um, and then instead of playing middle C, let's go up. Let's go middle D. Okay. Let's do another. Again, I said we want to go an octave. So we went 11. Now we're going to go between 11 and 14. So we went greater than 5, less than 8, greater than 8, less than 11, greater than 11, less than 14. Um, you can play with the numbers. It works best for you. Uh, but that middle D now needs to be middle E. Okay, and we're just going to use all the notes in an octave. And now we're here. We're at 14 and 17. That middle E is now a middle F. And you, you could have put, as you noticed, it was, pop, it was showing a uh, hertz. You could pick hertz if you want. Um, 17 to 20. What comes after F? G, right? All right. C, D, E, F, G. A couple more, right? So now we're between 20 and 23. We go from G to an A. One more, right? So I'm just dropping a bunch of if statements. Based on distance I am away from that sensor. There we go. Now some places try, uh, you could try it with just like if else and do a whole bunch of else else if statements you know one if and then a whole bunch of else ifs you can see if that does anything so there there's my code it's just pretty simple turn the speaker on set the distance at pin one yes I'm plugged into pin one to Z I could have used distance I could use anything for a variable and then read it um, Sometimes I put this set in the on start, which is just get an initial setting, which is good. But it's got to be here in the loop also, because when it comes back around, I want it to change. If I only set it on the beginning, it'll never change. So I've got to have that set also here in the forever, or just in the forever. All right, let's download that. And then we'll come over to the camera. I think we're downloading. And pull that off. Turn that on. And here we go. Might need to be closer. So, there we go, playing music. Just something to try. Enjoy. <laughs> 